talk to you nah, nah. Say my name, say my name If no one is around you Say baby, I love you You ain't one in game Say my name, say my name You acting kinda shady Ain't calling me baby Why the sudden change? Say my name Hi, thank you so much for tuning in. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman, and this is your monthly horoscope forecast for the sign of cancer for the month of February 2018. So thank you so much for tuning in. For those of you that are new to my channel, please be sure to hit the red button on the bottom right hand corner. It's the subscribe button. You can't miss it. And basically you'll be notified anytime I publish a new video. Um, I wanted to share a per personal message to all of you that are tuning in that may be new to my channel or for those of you that tune in weekly or monthly to my channel. Um, and this is basically on the premise of this, uh, the horoscopes that I do. They are more of an intuitive type of horoscope, meaning that it may not apply to every single one because it's more general in nature. Um, this is not a traditional astrology um, astrological horoscope based on the sun signs um, and even though you know um, you know if it was if, if it was to be based off of the sun signs there's no guarantee that it would apply to each and every one of you out there because so many of us are living our different lives and going through different things so not every single thing is going to necessarily apply to each and every one of you I know for myself when I read my um, you know my daily horoscope in the newspaper it doesn't always match and usually you know I just take it with a grain of salt so if you are finding that some of this doesn't apply to you or none of it applies to you just hold on to it you know um, Again, you, you're looking at this video, you may be looking at it in January, um, and it's not February yet. So uh, keep an open mind. That being said and done, let's see exactly what this month has in store for you. Um, now, the, um, this month, you know, uh, has a lot about your past coming up. Um, this month, it would be centered around your love life, and um, that's how it could start off. Uh, now, there could be a heartbreak that you have suffered or a separation with a partner, and you've left this person in the past, but at the same time, a part of you wonders about them, could be wondering, you know, what are they up to, or if they're still checking up on you. You could be checking up on them secretly, being like a detective, you know, Know, check in on their Facebook status even though you've gone separate ways a lot of couples tend to do this um, specifically twin flames they always want to keep tabs on other you know partners that they've had or a par past partner so if you're doing that know that there is some unhealed portion of yourself if you're still finding yourself you know clinging to looking at their Facebook statuses or going on Instagram and you know unless you're still friends with them and you're totally at peace um, you know there's something that needs to change in your life right now if you kind of need to like um, heal that portion of yourself and the only way that you can heal that is cutting the spiritual cords and it's all about visual uh, visualization how do you cut spiritual cords there's different ways that you can do this one way would be to envision that person having a, a cord you know hooked from their heart to your heart and you taking a pair of scissors and cutting that cord um, and then envision them walk away and being happy ultimately in their own life um, so if you can do that that will be very helpful for you and you'll notice that there is progress that is being made um, but again yes this month we'll be starting off on that note where you could still be very much obsessed or very much you know still uh, intrigued to still check up on someone from your past um, not necessarily because you still uh, have feelings for them, but maybe there are something at the subconscious or soul level that needs to be healed, and this is the reason that you're doing this. Um, and this person really hasn't changed much from the past, you know, and how they are. Um, they still maybe have like a bad attitude, bad energy, very authoritative or controlling, um, you know, or maybe they had, you know, just some bad um, dependencies or they were, you know, doing bad things, bad behaviors. Basically, this is something that hasn't really changed. So um, around you, there is a lot of emotional um, issues going on at the time. At the same time, you could be finding that you're not happy with a part of yourself. Um, this could be body image. This could also be with your, you know, your goals, your finances, wherever this is concerned, it's all around your emotions. And so at sometimes you could be feeling like you are just disconnected from the whole world. You may feel a little bit more at peace at home. Um, and some of you may find peace, you know, being in a, in a place where there's a lot of people. So it just depends on who you are and, and um, 
you know, but with your emotions, it can fluctuate. And those people that are in your life right now could be noticing and picking up on a lot of this. And how you may be dealing with this it would be actually um, lashing out to them or um, creating conflict in your life. And this is not who you are as a person. This is not necessarily what you would like to see. But a lot of us, um, you know, may handle things differently. And so you could be creating some chaos in your life right now. And um, you could feel like you are just, you know, n you're not feeling very positive about yourself. So that needs to change. Because again, it otherwise you could, you know, just be feeling like stagnated and not seeing any progress in any, any other areas of your life. Um, at the same time, there are going to be um, some good good energy so this month is not all you know negative and blah energy there is a lot of positive energy and one of the things that you will be seeing this month um, is around your your finances your your money um, where is that is concerned you could be finding that you're holding on to a lot of money maybe you have your little nest egg and you've just been holding on to it um, not wanting to spend it for whatever reason now you have to understand that um, you know making money and having a lot of money saved up is good but sometimes you have to spend a little bit to make a little bit or you have to spend you know your money because ultimately you have to live your life happy holding on to a lot of that money you know sometimes you know it's just it's there and you're not really doing anything with it other than um, holding on to it like a hoarder would hold on to you know personal objects so if you're finding that is the situation for you and you've been holding off maybe on buying something that you really want you know um, treat yourself if you haven't treated yourself you know for a while this is a good time to actually treat yourself um, and spend a little and you'll feel a little bit better about yourself doing that um, as well now um, this month interestingly enough there is another male around you so if you're a female uh, cancer sign or you're a male cancer sign this could be another male energy that is around you you know it could be a partner a, you know a brother um, a cousin you know just someone that is around you and this person also is going through similar issues as yourself with their emotions um, and so you could be finding that you are finding them a little bit more um, on your level and being able to really understand where they're coming from and you could be spending a lot of time with this person and it's because you know they say that you know you vibe with your tribe and basically this is the same thing if their energy matches your energy frequency you are going to find that you are you know meshing well together and you know out of this you know it could be where you have some laughs and you are finding the humor out of all of this specifically with the universe and you know what it is throwing in your way um but you are spiritually a very strong person uh cancer you are very strong and you need to know that um and i feel like you will be you know noticing your power and coming into your power a lot more towards the end of the month um and it's just a good time for you to to really you know cherish these moments um and any of this intuitive insights that you're getting from spirit and from your higher self um there's a lot of wisdom that is surrounding another person and um this person tends to step into your life like in the middle towards the end of the month and this could be like a teacher if you're taking a course or you're taking a spiritual class um, this could be a stranger completely that just you know that you meet on the street or you meet and they're giving you some kind of uh, advice you know or you witness a situation between um, two other people and it just makes a lot of sense and resonates with you so it's something just to be very mindful of but um, yeah, there's just a lot of positive energy around you. Um, so I want to thank you again for tuning into this video. If you did like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And like I said, go ahead and uh, hit the red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner. Also, please be sure to check out my other videos on um, this channel. Um, I have a lot of other videos for the weekly horoscopes and whatnot. And also be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Those links are listed in the description box below. Have an amazing week, uh, ways, amazing week, you know, if you're watching this and uh, most of all, an amazing month uh, ahead. So blessings and love and light. Thank you. Black,